<clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome to the Z stream, and today I have another uh, highly requested tutorial um, on how to add your own items into Minecraft. So, this is how you do it. You're going to need Minecraft, the Minecraft Coder Pack, you're, um, and you're going to need to have already set it up. If you haven't, go watch the tutorial. I have uh, two tutorials for on that, one for Windows, one for Mac. And you're also going to need an item template. I think I will give this to you. Uh, I may upload this for you guys. Um, anyway, so this is what you have to do. Um, you go into MCP. Go into your source. Actually, I'll open it up and edit Rocket. Um, or you can uh, use text edit or something. But the point is, you make a new file in your MCP source folder. And... I'm going to set this to Java, and I'm going to save, blah, 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 type something, save this, and you're going to save it as um, whatever you want your block to be. So I'm going to call it, I mean, not block, I mean item. I'm going to call it zitem.java. Save zitem. Oh, yeah, okay, replace. I was trying, out this, trying this out before. Okay, so you're going to make it called whatever you want it to be called, but it has to be .java at the end or else it won't work. And the next thing we're going to do is you're going to look into this item template. It's not very big. Copy everything that's inside and paste it into your new uh, item class. And then you'll see it says new item a couple of times. You have to replace new item with whatever you named the class. So I have to replace them all with Z item. Z item. Um, there's, there's four of them that you have to replace. So, there, I've replaced all of them, save. Now, um, here, it says set icon index, that will set what the item looks like, both in, uh, as the icon and when you're holding it. So, this is, um, now I'm going to show you how to add your own textures for items. You're going to go back in your MCP folder, and you're going to go into temp, you're going to go into GUI. I don't know why it's in GUI, but there's a file called items.png. I'm going to open it up in Photoshop. And here are all your items. Okay? It's beautiful. And this works the same way as blocks, okay? So in the top left corner here, this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, it's diamond helmet, this is 3, it's gold, 4, Flint and steel, five, you get the idea. It goes all the way over, and then it starts over again on this side. So this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, wow, it's the, it's the same number of uh, columns as in blocks, too. So this is this uh, leather plate body, or whatever you want to call it, is uh, 16, number 16. Okay, so let's get like gold sword. I want the texture for a gold sword. Copy this, paste it, and we will put it in, let's say I'll put it in that slot there. So we're gonna count where that slot is. We have two rows before, two times 15 is 30. Um, and actually three times 15 would be 45. This would be 45, so this is 44. Okay, we're gonna merge, merge these layers. We're gonna save. Hmm. I thought it would ask me if I wanted to replace or something. Um, I think it's... There, I think it's saved. Okay, now 44. Remember that number? We're going to put it in here. Set icon index, and you put whatever uh, texture you want. If you want to add your own textures like I just did, you just add them into these blank spaces all around here. You have all of this space. You just have to count which uh, where it is. And it has to be the same size. See how... Each uh, texture here is like two gray blocks and two white blocks on my background, like this. All your textures have to be the same size, or else it'll look weird and messed up. Anyway, so there we've added our own texture. Now we want to go into item.java. Um, wherever it is, here, item.java. And you're going to scroll down to the bottom until you see this big chunk. This is very similar to adding your own block. 
you're gonna type in public static item just we're copying what's written above here that and then public static item and then what you want to call your item so I'm gonna call it Z item with a lowercase Z and then you're gonna scroll down farther down to this chunk oh I forgot to add what I usually add added items okay here I say added items okay and then we're gonna say Z item whatever you called it up here Z item equals uh, bracket new now you say what the name of your new class is the one that you added yourself so it's new Z item capital Z it's a little bit confusing you can call them different things if you want it doesn't really matter um, just remain consistent that's all or else it won't work um, so it's a new Z item now you pass in what the data value is so if you're on multiplayer or something you can say give player this number and you'll get a Z item or whatever item you're adding so if I have to find an item a data value that hasn't already been used so you know what let's just pick some ridiculous number like 10, 1024 I'm pretty sure that hasn't been used and now just like we did with blocks you're gonna do you're gonna set some parameters if you want you can end it there if you don't want to set any parameters but for example we can do set max stack size that sets the maximum stack size and we'll set this what if well I wonder what happens if you set that to higher than 64 I don't know I'll just write 5 for now um, and then set icon chord which stands for coordinates I don't really know what difference that makes so I'm just gonna do set max stack size maybe I'll make a tutorial on more parameters one day okay so we've initialized our item and we have our the constructor for our item um, now we want to have a way of getting the item in when we're testing it so we're gonna go into crafting manager crafting manager where is it why can I never find crafting manager okay there we're gonna go crafting manager scroll down and we're gonna add a recipe at the end of uh, this chunk of code here that says add recipe over and over and over again if you don't know how to add an recipe I would recommend you go and watch my tutorial on how to add a recipe because I'm not going to explain it very thoroughly right now um, but I do explain it more in that tutorial so we're gonna type add recipe new item stack and then we're gonna do what item we want to result from in the recipe we're gonna do item dot Z item that has to be the name that you defined in the item dot Java class this is not the name of the class you added okay I hope that made sense it's kind of difficult to explain without making it confusing but it's not that it's not that complicated and then here you want to say how many you want to result so we'll say five since I just set the max stack size to five anyway and then comma new object square brackets squiggly bracket Let's put a x, just one x character dot value of, and we'll say that x stands, this x, ah, stands for block dot dirt. So basically, if I put one piece of dirt into uh, any crafting grid, I will get five z items, theoretically. And I think that should be it. That should be it. Okay. So now we're going to go open up terminal, open up MCP, and in terminal we're going to type bash. Uh, note, you do have to change the directory in terminal. If you, uh, yeah, so basically I'll give you the quick version. You just type in CD space and then you drag in your MCP folder and that will do it for you. Um, yeah, anyway, after you do that, we have to do bash and then recompile. If you are completely lost about what I just said about change directory, then you should go watch my tutorial on how to set up MCP, because that's where I explain it. Yes, anyway, done in 9.68 seconds. Bash, start client, and we will test this mod. Test this mod, man. Okay, function control F11. Why my full screen no work?
Okay, single player, new world. We'll test it. Oh, I have all this TNT from before. And some lava. Okay, let's get. Oh, I have dirt. What am I? What am I jumping around for? So, oh, what the next? Oh man, that's the wrong texture. Anyway, um, this is my recipe, and then it results in this new item, which is supposed to be a Z item, which was supposed to be a gold sword. But for some reason, it's an iron door. Huh, that's interesting. But it is working. I just picked the wrong texture by accident somehow. And, yeah. Um, that's how you add your own items into the game. I hope that was uh, useful for you guys. Um, and, yeah, I have a bunch of other tutorials that you can go watch for various other mods. I'm trying to figure out how to add your own mobs into Minecraft. So, uh, stay tuned for that. And, uh, yeah, subscribe if you like these tutorials. And I will see you guys next time.